Majesty, I must confess. You have truly really acted like an elder who knows everything about you. <laughs> I mean, who knows the mission of Lord? Yes, I am indeed. No, I had to. I want him grounded in our ways and culture. Hmm? Take a wife, then he can go ahead and live the rest of his life abroad. By that achievement, I am sure I would have succeeded in preparing him for the heirship of the throne of the land. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, I am happy for you. Thank you. I am for myself too. Uh, what about uh, Her Majesty, the Queen? Oh, the Queen. She went with them to the airport. <laughs> you know, she couldn't wait. <laughs> That's fine, eh? Good. Um, get your drinks. Let's go to the palace. I am sure they will be arriving any time from now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Stop thanking them. They are doing what they should do. Where is Mwadi? Your Majesty. Where is Mwadi? Your Majesty, she... Mom, can you just lead me to Dad, please? I'm excited to meet him. The three of you will have questions to answer. Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Come, son. I'm looking good, my son. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm happy to be back. Ah, I'm, I'm enjoying the air. It yes. feels good to be back. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> wow, I still can't believe it, you know. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, well how are our, our people doing? Oh, they are all fine. They are looking forward to seeing their lost conference. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> well, I was actually looking forward to greeting each and every one of them and say, how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> that means you have to go to everybody's home one by one. I really don't mind. I mean, it would be a pleasure. <laughs> you know? I have to put it some so that um, you have to say at least something similar to what you used to in the room. Yes. Hey, here we are. Your Majesty. Thank you. Here, son. In order to make your stay here enjoyable and comfortable, and comfortable <laughs> uh, this car is for you. Thank you very much, Dad. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate yes. it. Thank you. And um, Ndukadea is going to be your PA. Oh, is that He's right? He's going to drive you around. All right. Nduka, how are you doing? Good? Good. 
<laughs> okay, um, well, Dad, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I just feel a little like a child now because um, somebody of my status, my background, degree, and all of that, as a grown up, to be treated like a, a prince. <laughs> I, I think we, we should just go in for the drink. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I thought we were going to go for a spin. <laughs> oh, come on, that would be later. Oh, okay. <laughs> what's this? What is going on? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Your Highness. Where are you? Good evening, Your Highness. I'm talking to you, Madi. Where are you coming from? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I did not know you were referring to me. Shut up! I was talking to you! Except you want to slight me. Where did you go without adequate permission? Where? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. My father sent in a word to me this morning that my mother's sickness had taken a very drastic and serious direction. So I had to head home. Without permission? Mwadi, you headed home, abdicating your, your, your room services and thereby keeping the, 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 the prince outside his room for not less than 30 minutes. Am I right? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I heard my mother was coughing blood. So? They told you she was coughing blood. And you now, that took your sense of responsibility in, 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 in the palace. Have you suddenly forgotten who is in charge? Mom, can you just wait for later, please? I thought we, we, we came here to have dinner. When I need your opinion, son, I will be candid enough to ask for it. Answer me! Come in. Good morning, Your Highness. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? I'm sorry, Your Highness. I came to apologize for my absence at work yesterday, which caused you inconveniences. Inconveniences? Come on. Stand up, stand up. Inconveniences. What inconvenience are you talking about? I haven't realized any inconvenience. I mean, I didn't even notice that you were in here. I just know that somebody's supposed to clean my room on a daily. But, hey, don't bother. Come on, stand up. I'm sorry, Your Highness. It's my job. I'm in charge of room keeping. But I had to just go home. It's all right. Stand up. Come on. Oh, no, Your Highness. I'm sorry. I'll be all right. Um, I'm sorry, Your Highness. I came by to dress your bed. 
But since you're still laying on it, I'll go and come back another time. <laughs> it's alright. It's fine. I mean, hey, I'm up ready. So just go ahead and do what you gotta do. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Sir, hurry to His Majesty. Tell him that the King of Okusi Land is here now. Hurry, hurry. Yes, sir. Hurry. Where is my friend, your king of the land? This way, Your Majesty. Majesty call for your presence in the palace. The king of Okusi and his daughter, Yabi Tokted, are here. I'm humbled. Your Highness, your parents are overwhelmed about their visiting. Well, I think it's more about the meekness and the intelligence of the servants than the visits. Well, aren't you touched too? I mean, look at the way they go about their task dehumanizing a menial task that they do from age to age with not a word of complaint. Your Highness, if you ask me, I will say it's your portion. Is that right? Yes. We all have shares in the job. I bet I would never ask you. The palace, you say? Yes, of course. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Welcome. You are most welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, how are you, my dear? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, you're welcome. My father, no, I am delighted. You're welcome, my son. Please uh, sit down and partake in the cola. Okay. Yes, cola. I like cola, it's good for my reading. Yes. Your Majesty, welcome once again. Thank you very much indeed. Your Majesties, uh, please, you have to excuse the kids and I. I have special cola for them. You are free, indeed. You are free. Since you are the only mother around here, okay. Ada, please join them. 
This way, kids. Come on. So, so I call me. Um, <laughs> you are welcome once again. So, why the women and the kids are doing their work? You know? <laughs> that wasn't begging a minute. Have a seat, yeah. Oh, thank you. There we go. I agree. You were way slimmer too. Anyway, I wonder where the hell is my mom? Special cola. <laughs> So how's the UK? That's good, excellent. Hmm. Just wondering about this special cola thing. <laughs> your Highness, Your Majesty asked me to serve you this. Okay, cool. Um, where is she? She's gone into the palace. She asked me to tell you to take off from where she stopped. Take off from where she... Oh, my word. Do I sense a setup here? Is that what this is supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. If you wish, Your Highness. Oh. Uh, I'll just have a glass. Did you know about this? How could I? <laughs> um, what, what's your name again? What do Your Highness? Okay, thank you. Can I get my drink? Yes, Your Highness. All right, all right. Oh you imbecile, how could you? I'm sorry. Fool! You, you, you were just... You were a bitch, dumb bitch! How could you do this to... God! I'm sorry. Will you get out and get me a hanky or something to clean myself? Sorry, sorry, your ass! God! Just, just look at the mess you've done to my royal attire. My God, this is what you guys have here. Servants? Jesus, I'd rather stick to mine. Fucking bitch! You're not saying anything. Well, you, you said it all. You, you said everything. What's the meaning of that? Meaning you called her a bitch, dumbass, the whole nine yards. What more am I supposed to say? Mm. It's what, okay? Because she's supposed to be a damn well maid servant, is that why? Well, how blind are you not to see that she stained my royal gown? And well, is she better than any of the names I called her? Oh yeah? Well, you are not any better than those words either. Asami man, how could you? How could you pour a cup of juice on the princess? What came over you? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But I swear to God, it was, it was an accident. Accident! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But I, I swear, it was not intentional. Oh, shut up. Shut your trap! Idiot! Is there anything you ever accept was intentional? Slatten! You're only good at destroying people's efforts. Oh, glory. Your Majesty, please. P please, just leave me alone. How can she pour a glass of juice on the princess and stand here to tell me it was not intentional? Has she ever done anything in, in this palace and accept it was intentional? Huh? Yet every day she will commit something and then end up by it was not intentional.
Dad, this is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I was right there when it all happened. I was so right there. I'm not giving you a hearsay, no third party. I was right there. Well, it's true, Dad. It's possible I've never known this girl any longer than recently. She could be evil, possibly. But with this, it wasn't her fault. It wasn't intentional. Dad, it was just a spill. A spill of juice. So why are people saying she poured a whole cup of juice on, on the princess? Come on, Dad. Is this the kind of treatment your people receive from you, their kin? Did you hear me when I said that this matter was over? Yes, I did. But unfortunately, it can't be over because she's been relieved of her sickly duties. Yes, of course. Don't you know about it? Well, I didn't sack her for all I know, unless she decided to leave on her own, which I doubt very much. Okay, so if, if, if Dad, if you didn't, then who did? I did. I said I did. I mean, I've had it up, up to the truth. The madness of what is with me now in this palace. Who we are talking about here is the princess. You're betrothed. That girl did it intentionally. Come on, mom. Just to undermine you and bring the, the princess to mockery. Just, just hold on. It was je sheer jealousy because of the princess gorgeous dressing. Jealousy! Come on, mom. That is such a ridiculous conclusion to make. Because I was seated right there. Uh, yeah, because she didn't do anything about it. That's why I said she goes. Let her go! If she leaves this compound, I leave for London on the very next flight. What? Yes, I will. For good. Dad, you hear what I said? Is that supposed to be a threat or what? Imagine. You know I don't enjoy being threatened. And I wouldn't want to have you insult my royal ordinances. I ask you to come back here and prepare yourself for this throne which has fallen upon you. And that is what we are going to do. That is it. Well, it seems that trial will just convince you. Amerigo, you let him walk out on you? Your Highness, something urgent must be done about this. Very urgent. We need to do nothing. What? The only thing we can do is let bygone be bygone. Allow that poor girl to stay. It's okay. It's okay. It will be well. I was, I was hoping I would save more money from my salary so I can assist and finance my mother's operation. I know. It's okay. What am I going to do? It's okay. Just, just believe it will be alright, okay? One day. Your Highness. Why are you crying? Listen, it's going to be fine, alright? You're not going anywhere, you're staying. Huh? So don't cry, come on. <laughs> come, up you go. No, don't don't be scared, don't be scared, it's alright. Get up. Why do you? your majesty. <laughs> Take your bag inside. We're staying. But remember, Wadi. All these your actions shall be revisited in due time. Get inside. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. You need to drop this hatchet. You just have to bury it. Son, I have done your biddings. It's time for you to do mine. Go to Okosi land. Go and see the princess and her father. Mother, let that be my worry. I'm concerned about the way you treat these people that serve you every day, day in and day out. I'm very much concerned. I mean, apart from it being so not legal, it is very ungodly, mother. Ungodly. These people serve you with so much diligence with all their heart, their strength, mm. their might, they do everything because of you. And all they get in return is savagery, inhuman treatment, mother. Why is that so? I mean, I saw her crying. My heart bled. Yes, it did. And do you know why she was crying? Not because she's been laid off, but because she's gonna miss her duty in serving you. They serve you with no grudges, with all they've got, so much passion, mother. They stick their necks out for you. 
they carry your burden. Our and burden. You know what? Visit the princess and apologize to her. Mother, you need to change. Oh, you need to change. This is not you. This is the mother I know. You need to change. Thank you. There is this maid. Mm. Wadi. Yeah. That's a where is she? She's in your hands. Okay, can you ask her to come see me, please? All right, Your Highness. Good day, Majesty. You're right. How far have you gone with the lunch? He's almost ready. Okay. What about Felicia? Not yet back from the market. That's lousy. Well, go about your duty. But I wouldn't want to ask for that meal a second time. Hi, son. I've been looking for you all over the place. Well, I've been sitting right here. Reading the book, enjoying the fresh air, because my room is not too conducive right now. It was yesterday I asked you to go to Kosi Land to visit the princess. Yes, absolutely. But I choose to go there tomorrow. No, no. You are beginning to upset me, and I don't like getting upset. The princess. Your betrothed was openly and highly insulted here by a common maid. And all you do was to stand by the maid. What do you want? Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, Your Highness. Mama, I sent for her. Listen, you go to my room, all right? Um, there's some books and clothes on the floor. Can you please clean up for me? Yes, Your Highness. Proceed. Thank you, Your Highness. Mom, as much as, as you know uh, that... Uh, hold on, please. Come back here. You. Get here. Come here. Yes, you said earlier that your mother's ailment is taking a terrible turn, isn't it? Yes, Your Majesty. Fine. I permit you. Go and visit your mother. Stay with her. Hand over this assignment and every other chore you have in this house to Udoka. Tell her I instructed. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. May God reward you. You may leave now. God bless you. Thank you. Leave. Mom, Mom, why would you do that? I have a reason as to why I wanted her to take care of it herself. No, no. I am beginning to get increasingly uncomfortable with those your reasons for doing it. And I don't like it. Mother, I know why I want her to do it herself. Because, I mean, I've checked around. She happens to be the most rational one amongst all of them by my assessment. And your assessment is what I don't like. I don't like it. You have to go right away to see the princess. Do it in my own time. Your own time. It's okay, we can go for today. Yeah. And uh, please, did you see my sister pass through here to go to the house? Or could she still be in the market? I wouldn't know. I am just coming back from the same market. I wouldn't know. Yeah, okay. Oh, Allah, now let me go. Uh, okay, don't run away now. Uh, come inside, let me find you something to cool down. Oh, girls, you not today. Even Tass is still in the market, that means my mother will be alone at home. So I have to hurry up to stay with her a little bit. Maybe some other time. I hope you're not offended though. Offended? <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. Okay, okay. 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 Mama, are you sleeping? Just wake up and eat something, okay? Mama. Okay, but just eat a little bit more, please. Oh, please. Take me 
Um, Ntasi. Ntasi Obi. Yes. Please come. Come and get Mama to the bed. I have to finish up with the washing. I still have to go back to the palace to finish my chores. I don't know. I don't to go to the palace. That's how we finish the washing. No, don't worry. I'll finish it. I don't have much left to wash. No, I go. I'll finish the washing. You just came back from the market now, Ntasi. Won't you rest? Don't worry, I'm almost done. I'll finish in a bit. Just take Mama to the bedroom for me. Mama, stop now. Let her take you to the room first of all. Stand up, carry her. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Hold up. Put your uh, hands over her shoulder. Mama, strong go. Sorry, eh? Um, in fine, this is your salary. Thank you very much. John, this is yours. How much? Sir. Have yours. Thank you. Take one portion of the item. Take the remaining item. Thank you. Uh, Mwade, Her Majesty said I should tell you that there will be no salary for you this month because of all your misdeeds. However, she asked me to give you these two bar of yams and uh, uh, soap and onions. He also said that after your morning duties tomorrow, you will go and see your people and come back. Make sure you come back before 12 noon, except you, Mwade. At least not today, because he said you visited your people yesterday. So, take care of yourselves. Thank you, sir. Come on, Ada. Let's just go inside. Huh? We are here already. We've been sitting in the car for some minutes now. Let's go in, talk about it. I mean, even your dad understands my position. Well, I do not. And I was the one who got insulted and not my father. Jesus Christ, I can't even come to bring myself to think that I was humiliated in front of a palace servant. You know, the idea just makes me really sick. I'm sorry. Maybe if we go inside and we talk about it um, during dinner, you would just calm down some more, please. Huh? My princess, you know I love you. Calm hey, dude, look, 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 look. Do not hassle me, okay? You should be pleading. Okay. I'm sorry. Please. I don't know. Maybe I could just accept your proposal of apologies during dinner. But I'm not sure, though. So don't get your hypes all. Right on. I'll open the door for you. Of course you should. <laughs> <laughs> Life, I guess. Mm -hmm. And plus, you know, 
I've got to go, baby. It's late. No. <laughs> no way. Three. <laughs> we need the fourth one. Sure. To make three, two, one. <laughs> Look, okay. No. I really wish we could stay long enough to take like the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, mm -hmm. even to ten, fourteen. But remember, they used to have to drop me at my palace before you go to your No way. Mm -mm. You said you were going to sleep at mine. Hmm. Huh? Were you into my father? Yeah? No, no. Uh, <clears throat> no way. You have to come to my Excuse me, man. Huh? Ah. It's getting late. You know, we still have to drop out. Shut up. Shut up! Go, 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 watch that. Thank you, Okay, sit down. Eat, eat a so lot. Well. Hey, give me more food! I it. Dude, whatever your name is, could you just come over here and tell this guy how late it is so he can get his bath off that chair? Duka, uh, is it late? Yes, it happens. Very late. My prince, my prince, we are home, we are home. Wake up, we are home, my prince. Pardon, pardon. We are back home, wake up, please. 
Oh. <laughs> we home. Yes, my prince. Princess. Princess, get up. Let's go. My prince, we dropped her off. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's get down. I hope you can find your way, my friend. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, my friend. Ha! <laughs> no, 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 my friend. I trust you, my friend. You can find your way. I am home. <laughs> my father's pockets. Yeah, my friends. Okay, uh, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Or is it? No, it's nine already. It's past eleven. Salary and my mother, my mother is very ill. Oh, listen, I am sorry. Okay, now you stop crying. Okay, don't cry. Your mother will be fine. Okay, I can assure you that. Now, is that all there is to your problem? Your worries? Huh? Um, her Majesty has refused me going to see her while every other person I've gone on leave. My word. Now, you listen to me. Don't cry. I have money. Huh? I have money to give you. Okay? I have money. And I will give it to you. Alright? Okay? I will give you my money. Come in. 
Good afternoon, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Can you get my robe? Yes, Your Highness. That. Your Highness, it's it's a walking bead. I'm sure it must have fallen off the neck of one of us. Oh, Your Highness, Come stop on. it, please. Don't, don't do Come this. On. Oh my God, stop this, please. Listen. What are you doing? Listen. Your Highness, no, no, no. Look, you're not all right. Don't do this. I beg of you, please. You're gonna lie. No, no, no. Your Highness, stop, yes. please. I beg you. She make away with any of her belongings. Can you do me a favor? Yes, Your Highness. Shut up. And drive. Thank you, Highness. You're still talking. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Stop talking! Thank you, sir. what I think. I think your hatred for Mwadi is getting out of hand. And I don't... Udoka, why would you use a word like hatred? What, what has hatred got to do with this? I am telling you what I saw. And I'm telling you that what you said you saw does not make any sense. How could you ever imagine that the prince is dating Mwadi? How could you? Mm. Udoka, quote me right. Did I say they were dating? Oh, okay. So, what did you say? What? Okay. Why are you... Why are you suddenly acting like... You don't know where this whole thing came from? You were the one who came to me this morning. Asking me if I knew where Umwadi slept. And I was... I am trying Yes, to I did. And you said you don't know. So why are you bringing up all these excuses about where she slept? How you knew everything? How? Oh, okay, fine. When you asked me... I didn't know what to say then because I didn't have any good answer for it, okay? But I am telling you confidently that Mwadi slept in the princess room. <gasps> Felicia! Are you 
you are aware you're going to be in serious trouble if what you are alleging gets to the ears of the Queen? Are you aware? Yes, I know, but how is that going to water down what I saw? <sighs> okay, fine. She was not in the princess room. I didn't see anything. What was her neck bead doing in the princess room? <laughs> oh, you've forgotten she keeps the rooms, huh? And why are you so sure that the neck bead you said you saw belongs to Madi? <laughs> eh? Felicia, can you differentiate your neck bead from my own bead? Can you? I know your neck bead, just as I know mine. I know everybody's neck bead. And I am telling you that that neck bead belongs to Madi. Mm. Okay, okay, listen. You needed to see the shock registered in the face of the prince when he stepped into the room and saw me holding Wadi's neck bead. I'm telling you, believe me. Listen, we all grew up in this palace together, okay? We've, we've been here all through. I know when something is wrong, there is something going wrong. There is something happening with the prince and Wadi, and something is still going on. You know what, Felicia? Let the both of us assume this meeting never took place. Mm. Yeah? Yes, because me, I don't want to be involved. Mm? Okay. Okay, uh, wait for me now. Wait for me. Uh, Thank you. Come, come this way. Uh, Nduka, go and wait for me at by the car. Wande, why are you not in the palace? <coughs> Your Highness, Her Majesty later pardoned me and asked that I should I could come visit my parents. Oh, <laughs> excellent. That's good news. Um, actually, I came to talk to you about something, something that I just can't wait. Um, your, your, your colleagues didn't know your whereabouts and they have been looking around for you so I thought I'd come find you because I got worried. Um, another thing, I found this necklace in my room and I was just wondering, I was thinking, what, I'm sorry, okay, what, what exactly happened last night? Uh, what I'm trying to say is, did, did you sleep in my room last night? My word. Um, um, one day, listen to me. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, I, I was drunk. You know I was drunk, right? I, I was drunk. I did, I'm not sure what I was doing. I'm very sorry. I did not mean to take advantage of you or to hurt you in any way. It, it was in my mind. I was completely drunk and that's it. I hope you understand what I'm, talk, what I'm, what I'm saying. Huh? Yes? I'm sorry. Please. Okay, so... His Excellency the Governor will be commissioning the project. Senator Madu, the financier of the project, will be there. Mm -hmm. Our own son in the House of Representatives will also be there. So it will be my great privilege to be in their midst with you. Oh, it will be a great pleasure, Your Highness. Yes. I can't wait to shake the governor's hand <laughs> and tell him how I feel about him. What did you just say? What does that mean? Dad, you sent for me? Yes, please sit down. Lola, I asked you a question. What's the meaning of that? Don't be ridiculous, Your Highness. I am already. Tell me. Congratulations. Words of encouragement for his laudable programs. What? Your Highness. Is this something I should know about? Maybe we should tell him. Maybe we should. 
um, uh, son, we were of the opinion that um, we have allowed you long enough time to relax. And um, we were thinking of concluding the last phase of the marriage rite between you and the daughter of Hugo Bosi. Is that it? Yes. I think we should also pick a date for the wedding at the end of all this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Would that be all? Yes. Except for your reply. Oh, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's fine with me. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, except... What exactly are we talking about? Tomorrow? Let's stand here, let's stand here. Let's stand here. Okay, fine. There is something going on in this palace that I'm suspecting is going on in this palace and I need you to be in the know of it. I don't know, it's just so strange and abnormal. Uh, Felicia, what is it now? What is it? This morning, I went into the prince's room to dress his room and the next thing I saw was Umwadi's neck beat. Is that what you call strange and abnormal? <laughs> don't what I don't really understand about it is that when the prince came into the room and saw me holding the neck bead, there was there was this there was this look on his face. I don't know, but it's just getting me so curious, so so curious. Felicia, Felicia, can you exactly tell me what you are insinuating? Okay. I think Mwadi slept with the prince. And that is equal to abomination. Shut up, boy, Felicia. Keep quiet. Who are you to say abomination in this palace? Who are you? Why are you, why are you sounding like I'm telling a lie or I don't know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. If there was nothing going on between both of them, so what was her neck be doing in the prince's room? Felicia. Felicia. Are you aware that I am his personal assistant? Eh? Yes, I am aware, and that is why I came to share what I saw with you. Do you agree that I know whatever he talks as his personal assistant? Do you agree? I agree. <laughs> but I must tell you, Mwadi is not worthy of anybody's trust. She is not worth it. It is possible she would monitor you, know when you're with the prince and when you're not with him, when you go to bed and then comfortably sneak into his room and seduce him. Felicia, Felicia, I want you to calm down. Felicia, what you are imagining never happened. Felicia, I want you to go back to your work and do me one favor. I want you to stop discussing this rubbish with anybody around in this palace or outside this palace. Felicia, if I hear this rubbish outside, me, I, personally, will recommend a serious punishment for you. Ah, sorry. Did you get that? Yes, sorry. I Is that supposed to be an extension of that? Mom, 
I said, I'm sorry. I take full responsibility for what happened. Yes, but if you think I don't have an explanation... Explanations! Explanations! I should not think you do not have explanations. Oh, well. You don't even know what I think right now. I think you are a total disgrace. A blatant and rude detractor to our royal accolades. What were you thinking? Visiting openly with your own servant. Someone who is supposed to be your subject suddenly becomes your host. Are, are you insane? Are you alright? Oh, it, it, is that all? Should there be more? No, 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 not at all. I mean, I was just thinking if that is what is getting you angry because I visited with the household. With Wadi! Damn it. An ordinary palace servant. Will, will you just swallow your pride and shut your mouth up? You don't even know who you are. Son, you are the prince of this land. This is title of Obolo royalty. So stop desecrating yourself. Stop it! Mom, I said I was sorry. Totally, I am sorry. But if you further want to push this, then it will be of interest to you to know that it was I that visited the household and not the Obulu royalty. Please, 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 please. Spare me all that and shut your mouth up because all your reasonings are nauseating. You are the symbol of Obulu royalty. And I don't ever want to have this kind of discussion with you ever again. Do you understand me? Sit down. Ah, you said your father is doing fine? Oh yes, Your Majesty. He is well, thank you. He sends his regards to you. Um, he sent me out early today because he wants me to come back on time to receive his visitors, which he has later in the day. Oh, I see. You're quite early. Yeah, I'm sure your sweetheart must still be sleeping. He must have read through this morning. Would you want to go and wake him up yourself? Uh, I thought there was something you wanted us to talk about first. Nope. I sent for you because I feel both of you should have things to talk about. I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with the distance. Huh? Well, you have to come together, get closer to each other. Not on phone though. So now, he must be awake now, or you can go and wake him up. Yes, Your Majesty. I didn't tell you you are looking beautiful this morning. Thank you, Your Majesty. Coming from you, it's a compliment. You're welcome. Uh, I hope people are giving those flowers good shape. Yes, Your Majesty. Go ahead and do it. Isn't it... Isn't this bed a little too wide for the... Uh, Your Highness, please don't worry. I'm going to get there very soon. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's alright. Just do it any way you can. I mean, besides, when I'm in the UK, you're not there to do it for me. Your Highness, now that you're here, it is my duty to do it. So please allow me to. It's fine, come on. No, Your Highness, please, please, please. please. Look, I'll be in great trouble if anybody sees you doing this. Oh, you will be in greater trouble if somebody sees you touching me. No, 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 Your Highness, please. please. Oh, uh, some funny stuff, don't worry about it. Um, you're oh, back early. Not funny. I said, what just happened here? What did I just see? What you did again? You, just see? Huh? you again? Uh, it's okay. What's wrong with you? What's the seriousness of this? What did you think you saw? 
हाँ Mom, she can go ahead and say all she wants to say. I don't have a problem with that. Just say it without derogating on the poor girl. That's all I'm saying. I said you should sit down. Keep quiet. Sit down. Sit down, Nana. Princess, I'm of opinion that you go straight to the point. Very well, Dad. I saw the maid trying to seduce the prince. I saw her caressing his hands and trying to lure him to bed. Mom, I will not stop talking. All this crap is about me. Me. I will not stop talking. Because if I do, it brings down my prestige and my integrity. I won't take it. Oh, why well, do you have to take it? Because you took this assertion without complaining. So you have to take it. Somebody find this crap. I said you should keep quiet. It's enough. It's enough. And this matter is closed. Your Highness. No. I am still the king, the sovereign ruler of you and your opinion, and indeed the entire community. And how dare you go out there smiling about the nonsense? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, I overstepped. But it makes me terribly angry. And you, Nana, the princess with you and get out of my sight again. Now I know. Now I know why that stupid bitch spilled drink on my dress the other day. Because I came. Because she is just. And you sat down and did nothing about it. And now, she's seducing you, my own man. And you still sit down there and defend her. I can't believe somebody's saying this. Look, look, you know what I think? I think you should just go away. Just go somewhere. And I bet you, Ada. Once you leave, it will give you a better mindset as to whatever you're thinking is not what is going on. My baby. Nana. Just leave at once. Leave. With a whole pleasure. Just leave. I'll be outside. I know you must be disappointed by the Igwe's judgment. But I assure you, I have this whole thing under my act control. Just give me this one more chance and you will never be disappointed. Okay? Mom, do you think I'm lying to you? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no one thinks you're lying, not even the Igwe. Everybody knows what that evil girl is capable of. But I think this is her last exploit in this, in the, in this Palace. Huh? Just trust my leverage and I'll make sure I anchor it on your own advantage. Is that okay? Come on, my baby. There's no problem. You have me on your side. Everything is alright, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You said I was lying. You even went as far as saying I hated her. Now see, she has been caught red-handed. <laughs> Could this possibly be the reason why you called me here? Why are you constantly making a mountain out of a mole here? Eh, Felicia? Me? Make mountain? What am I making mountain for now? I have not made any mountain, no. This mountain, it has already been made. <laughs> see, listen. Overheard the future queen telling the queen that she caught Mwadi in the prince's room, seducing the helpless prince. Hell, and you believe her? Ah, the future queen says something, and I won't believe it. Why won't I believe her? Of course, I believe her. No, wait, oh, is it that you didn't hear what I said? 
I said she said she was caught red-handed. I am sorry to say this, but I don't trust the so-called future queen. I beg your pardon. What did you just say? Of course you heard me. Eh? She's a desperate woman, and desperate women are known for their wild actions. So they can go at any length to do whatever they want. In fact, they can go at any length to kick anybody out of their way. So what do you expect? Huh? Felisa, what's going on here? I mean, what is going on here, Felisa? Felisa, tell me what's going on. I want to know the exact rumor you are spreading against my friends. Felisa, which, which, no, I didn't spread any Me spread. Oh, ah, no, now. Let me tell you something, Felisa. I'm not monitoring you. Felisa, I must make sure your name enters the bad book of Her Majesty. Yes. Felisa, anytime I see you discussing anything against my prince, I will kill you, Felisa. No, Felisa. I, I didn't say anything. Be careful, Felisa. What? We were just discussing something very, very private and personal. Amen. Igwe. Igwe. I am of the opinion that your handling this issue is not in the best interest of her father's ego and her relationship with her son. Neither will the way you would have wanted me to handle it be in the best interest of her son's ego and that of the poor girl being accused, to say the least. She? Yes. Are you also considering her? She's a nobody. What of her son? At least he's somebody. And if he told me that nothing of that sort happened, I should be prudent enough to believe him. At least not to undermine his integrity in the presence of the woman he wants to marry. Look, think, Chiwe. Don't always allow sentiment to becloud your sense of reasoning. I know it's going to be hard on Ada initially, but I assure you that she will understand with time. No, Your Highness, I don't think so. I don't think so. For now, that Muadi must have to leave this house before she tears my family apart. She has to leave. Well, I don't care who stays or goes, but let this issue be closed for all I care. No, Your Highness. This issue cannot be closed. Oh, I was not pleading with you. You have been ordered. Madema, I am asking you for the very last time. Tell me the truth. Were you or were you not trying to cast a spell of seduction on my son? Madema, I'm asking you, tell me the truth. What is the matter with you? Your Highness, I don't know. If there is anything of that sort going on, my son, you should be bold enough to confide in me so that two of us can drop minds and find out how to handle it before it blows out of proportion. Dad, Dad, this is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, the thought alone is even unimaginable. How could you possibly think that I will have something to do with her? I haven't said that, have I? What I'm trying to say is that both of us are men. And then, you know, sometimes the vents may get wired up and the unexpected may happen. Dad, nothing has happened, okay? You have my word on this. Something this happened. What happened? She's pregnant. Who? Mandy, of course. Now it can be adduced that Adam might not be making a mistake at all. How do you mean? Huh? Why are you always coming to me? Eh? Do you want to put me into trouble? I don't want this kind of friendship. I don't want it. Felicia, I don't want it though. Why are you getting angry now? See, I am always coming to you because you are my colleague. Okay, I come to you because 
I want to tell you how I feel. People are dying every day and you don't know when you or I will just drop down and die. Okay. So I have to tell you what I have in mind. <laughs> Look, Felicia, I don't have any business with what you have in your mind. Eh? So please, excuse me. Ha, ha, come, come. Why are you drawing me? Something tells me that the prince is not the only one involved in this issue. Nduka is also involved. Felicia! How can you say that? So how else will we be able to explain Nduka's unnecessary interest and concern over a matter that doesn't concern him? That is to say that both of them are involved and he is trying to find a way to cover up. But it is so glaring! Felicia, Felicia, hmm? listen to me very well. Let this be the first and the last time you will ever call me out for this kind of rubbish. Eh? I don't want to lose my job. If you want to, go ahead. Well, you see, it's not actually my problem. It's, it's, it's that of a friend. Do you know the prince of oh, Okosi land? You mean Prince Obieze? Yeah, good. I know him very well. Excellent, excellent. Um, he called me a few days back that um, he's got this huge problem he's been wanting to solve. What happened? Well, um, he got this maid of his pregnant and he was just thinking about marrying her. The, the prince to get married to a palace maid? Well, yeah, I mean, he got her pregnant in the first place. Isn't that the next logical thing to do? My prince, the world of royalty, it's not like our own ordinary world. Isn't it? Yes. Um, can you elaborate? Your pregnancy test result is out. It has confirmed Her Majesty's assumptions last week. Now answer me this once and last asking. Who is responsible? I said I was going to ask you once. Who is responsible? Who is responsible? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. You are being considered for forgiveness. That is why you are still standing here talking. Now speak out. Who is responsible? <laughs> speak out! Mwadi. I am running out of patience. Or do you want me to get in the use to find out their own way? Oh, please, please, you. Oh, bye bye. Your Majesty, please, 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 please. Call him to call the use for me. Where is he? Where is he, poor? Eh? Oh, Should we keep standing by here for your calls? Please, please, Your Majesty, don't look up the use, please. I don't want to say who he is. It's, okay. it's, um, no, speak out! His name is. His. Oh, Jesus. Oh. What did she say? She said Jesus. Speak out! It is. It is. Your son. Your son? Who is your son? I swear by my life, your majesty. I didn't even get that. Oh, son! Oh. Your Highness, the Prince, I swear, the Queen is responsible. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Liar! It's okay. She's lying! Lying, bitch! I know. <laughs> the room keeper, Wadi, has been confirmed pregnant by the doctor's report. Upon interrogation, she heaped the responsibility on you. So what do you have to tell us concerning that accusation? Igwe, 
things might just get out of hand if we allow this girl maneuver us on this issue. It is very obvious she's lying. I agree with you, but it's imperative that our son here shares the same view with us. So go ahead. What do you have to say? Mom, I am terribly sorry for... About what? girl must be desperate. Oh, Jimmy. Desperate. Allow him to speak. Go ahead. Well, without means in my words, Dad, I should be responsible for her pregnancy. What? Yes, ma'am. No, you are not. Yes, ma'am. You are not. Impossible. You are not even sure. So how, how can you ascertain that you are? You are, you, you are, you are? Mom, I am. I know. How did this happen? Well, I came home drunk that night. I mean, even though I was drunk, I know what I did. I take full responsibility. I just want to take charge for my actions. That's all. Meaning? Meaning it's already happened that. I agree it's more of my fault than hers. Now, what I would like to do is to get married to her. Not because I want to, because that's what it's come to. Impossible. Son, you didn't bring it to it, and I can assure you of that. Eh? So, don't even start thinking of marrying her. Mom, Your Majesty, you have to say something about this. Mom, it's not open for deliberation. It's not. It's my decision to make here, and I've just done that. You lie. You have no prerogative to make any decision on this matter. I do. But that is my life. I made the mistake. I want to handle it my way. And I say no. You will not and must not. Emphatically, it can never be handled that manner you want it. Well, I dare to differ. Think about the discredit this is going to bring to your father and the family dynasty. Please. Mother, you don't just get it. You don't just get it, do you? I made her pregnant. I'm responsible. And all I want to do right now is not just sit back and watch. What will people say? People will not say anything because you are not going to accept the responsibility of that pregnancy. You are not. Why not? Why, why should you? Why shouldn't I? You had your mother. You had her. Dad, I would do no such thing. It's like you did not get me clearly when I told you earlier on that you do not have the prerogative to make any decision on this matter. Because you had one and you frittered it away. That was when I asked you in confidence to tell me the whole truth concerning the princess allegation. But what did you do? You, you told me a lie. You gave me your your baseless and worthless word. Now I dare ask you, son, what is the worth of your word? It's worthless. So you are going to do exactly as you are told.
I summoned you here because something serious has happened. Your daughter here has desecrated the sanctity of my royalty. She is pregnant. What? And to add insult to injury, she accuses my son of being responsible for her pregnancy. But by it is true. He's responsible. Shut up! You are making His Majesty a liar, Wadi. Are you not afraid? You slut. What is the matter with you? Lola, please. It's juvenile misbehaviors. Please. But, but you have to hear me out. I'm He's responsible. Didn't I tell you to shut up? Shut up! I hide your face in shame. But, but this is not fair. This is not fair. Somebody should ask him. Let him say something. Will you shut up? Keep quiet, you slut. What is the matter with you? How dare you? How dare you contend my assertion? Are, are you saying I don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, your majesty. Oh, your majesty. She didn't say so. She just did. By constantly opposing my statement. It means you have no faith in what I'm saying. Now, let me be clear. Did you say that my son is responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, your majesty. He knows. No. Will you shut up? Shut your dirty mouth up. Liar. You heard her. Is it true? Dr. Lawson, she said that you were the one that did not pay. Is it true? No. She's... She's wrong. Did you hear that? God! Then, you take your letter home and ask her questions. Thank you, Your Majesty. But today, there are going to be consequences for this your daughter's action. For bringing my royalty to disrepute and accusing my son falsely. Your Majesty, please step by justice with mercy. Please. Make sure that they leave this compound this minute. Yes, Your Majesty. Will you stop taking my face? Yes, we Okpala, oh, what is happening here? I don't know. Go, go, go. go. Gemba, go. What's happening? Okpala, oh, it's my brother here. Yes, he's here. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. Just to break my heart. Oh, why? Are you, there? are you okay? You're back. Oh, sister, well done. Even this one you came with, Wadi. Is everything all right? Wadi! Wadi! Now you're there, she all right? Everything is all right. Everything is not fine. Anupam. Everything is not fine, OGC Table. Nay, what happened? Eh? Ask her. Ask this idiot. Don't ask me. Papa, I know that this seems like, I mean, this whole thing seems like it's entirely my fault. But I know it is not. It is not my fault that I find myself as a servant in the king's palace. When I should be somewhere else struggling to better the terribly poor condition of this family. Oh. 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 Oh.
Papa Papa leave her now. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Abama, I don't want to hear your pim. I mean pim. You are just preaching someone about your terribly immediate poor family. Did the poverty of my immediate family make you pregnant? No. She pregnant? Ask her. Did the poverty of my family sleep with you? Yes, it did. My household got me pregnant. My mom's ailments, which you are doing nothing about, got me pregnant. How did you think I got the money to make her get better to the States a few weeks ago? Oh, you think I cleaned the, the Igwe's house? Or you think I washed his dishes or I made his bed? Is that what you think I got the money from? You have no shit. My bag, don't you ever again raise your hands against me. Abama, did you see your daughter? You saw your sister. She's proud. She's proud with the pregnancy out of marriage. Pregnancy before marriage. Yes. Pregnancy without child. Papa. 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 Do you want me to tell you the truth? The prince is not responsible for that pregnancy. That pregnancy does not originate anywhere in this palace. Neither does it have any link with royalty. Tai, I am surprised with how you talk most times. Are you not the same Felicia who always heard that the prince sleeps with her? So, why are you saying a different thing now, eh? Why? I don't know what you mean by saying different thing. But all I know is that that pregnancy does not have any link whatsoever with royalty. <laughs> So you think the pregnancy fell down from the sky or what? Why are you sounding like a baby now? Okay, see, she got pregnant elsewhere and decided to impose it on the prince. That was why she kept sneaking in and out of the prince's bedroom. Ah, Felicia, you know what? Me, Udoka. I am now feeling very uncomfortable discussing anything with you. Yeah? Because you, you change like a chameleon. You, hey! You can call it anything you want to. But what makes me happy, makes me very happy, is that the prince is so wise. So wise not to have accepted that pregnancy. I'm telling you, see, the bottom line is wherever she brought that pregnancy from, she's just going to take it back there. <laughs> okay, what the Yes, come. Oh, it's you. Yes, I have. Sit down. How are you doing? I'm fine. In the last three to four days, you yeah, must say you've not been, you've been looking downcast. I hope all is well with you. Um, where, where is mom? Well, she went to represent us at the burial of um, Omolini's son. He died last week and is being buried today. I wonder why she's not back. She ought to have been back by now. Well, I see. Um, I came to inform you that I will be returning to the UK next week. Hmm. Why? Before I came, I had dropped a few applications at certain establishments and uh, a friend called me up last night saying the interviews are slitted for a fourth night, so I need to get back and prepare myself. Hmm. That sounds convincing. But I hope that this decision has nothing to do with the issue of that girl's pregnancy. No, 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 it doesn't. Dad. Trust me. Good. Because all we did and the reasons why we did them 
are in your own best interest and in fact the dignity of our generation yet unborn. You know, uh, royalty plus royalty attracts. But royalty and unroyalty will certainly repel. I understand. I understand. Good. Then prepare for your travel. But before that, we must, you know, fulfill our earlier planned trip to our government's house for the last lap of the marriage drive between you and his daughter. Yeah, certainly. Good. Certainly. Good. So, good night. Good night, Dad. Yeah. Where are you coming from? Does it mean you have decided to make yourself a failure in your life? Joy. Why are you back here with practically nothing? Why? <laughs> anyway, Papa, you see, with all due respect, I am going to answer your question one after the other. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You see, yes, I just came back again. You see, but your problem is that you are too imbibed and committed to this your whack ass village commitment. If not, you would have heard that the president of Guinea has just died. And as it is right now, there's a big confusion in Guinea right now. Now, end that you're the bubble man. I'm going to have to go first of all. Now, you're going to have to go I have to run back home to my, to my, to my, my, my father's land. You understand? Then talk about failures, Papa. Just have to make you understand, Papa. You see, I'm not from the dynasty of uh, uh, failures. <laughs> yes, I'm not from the dynasty of failures. So you understand them? Then talk about coming back with practical nothing, <laughs> Papa. Our people used to make this idea that and um, what you are looking for in Sokoto is in your Sokoto trouser, meaning. That whatever it is that I'm looking for in, in Guinea, Ethiopia, and Gambia is here in this village, in this kingdom. Meaning, I didn't have any reason to even be in Guinea in the first place. So, whatever it is that I'm looking for is here. In fact, I'm here to gather all the money that's in this kingdom. That is why I came, Baba. Benson, sir, I am going for a meeting. I don't have time for your nonsense. I am going for a meeting. The key is there. Hmm? Don't make sure you lock my doors. Don't leave my doors open. Hold on, Papa, Papa. Pause. Reverse. No, not you guys, man. No, Papa, wow. Papa, you see, my problem with you is that this is your village commitment here and there. You see, it, it drives me crazy. Papa, I'm here for a big business. And when I mean big business, I'm here for a, 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 a serious business. What am I trying to say, Papa? That you are mine. We need to sit, go to down. We need to sit down. But we don't care. As father and, and son. Now, yeah, but we do way forward. We discuss way forward. That is how to take our lives to the next level. You know, you need to take a good forward. Man, I'm taking forward. You need to move way ahead. Man, you move ahead. You need to you know, move movement. All my movement kind of papa. Oh, come on. You feel me. Don't you understand me? You have to understand me. Now, yeah, yeah. Every time now, you didn't know it's Gago, it's Gago. What has come out from this Gago? Every now and then. Papa, nah, this is not movement time, Papa. I feel good. Benson, be more specific. What exactly do you want? Okay, Papa. Like I've already told you. Hmm? If you go to Guinea today, you realize that 
the president of Guinea has just died. You see, there are generals in Guinea army. But from nowhere, from nowhere, no, from nowhere, a colonel. What a colonel just came and took over the government of Guinea. No, 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 this thing like it's not crazy. See, Papa, I want us to replicate the development in Guinea. Yes, we have to replicate the development in Guinea uh, as a way forward. Listen, you are still talking in parables. What do you want? Okay, I'll be more strict now. I'll be more strict. Mm -hmm. Papa, you see, I was born into the land, to this land, to see your brother rule over us as king. And not even a single soul, no one, has anything to show for his long years of ruling over us as the paramount ruler of this kingdom. I've thought about it. I said, bah, if I had the wrong man, it is not good. So, Papa, Okuma, I want you to start preparing your mind. Prepare and gear up your mind. You! Taking over as the king. Siapa? Okay. Why are you imagining what is never possible? Papa, it is impossible. Why? Why? You see, Okuma, you're talking like this because you're still thinking the myopic politics of this kingdom. You have better start preparing your mind. Start getting up your mind. You know, to take the lead that I'll follow. You see, I've seen it happen in many places. So, our own kingdom is not going to be anything different. See, you had better start thinking and getting up your mind on how to take over as the king. Oh, now, man, now, wow, you, you just wake up one morning now, you see that I'm the king. I will take over as the king. Listen, do you know that my brother the king will hate you when he hears this your suggestion? <laughs> he will hate you! <laughs> Chai! Chai! You are talking about hatred. You see, the problem I have with you is that you downgrade your soul. You don't even know your soul. You don't know the value and the worth and the and the and the and the, and the, the, the powerful prowess of your soul. This man you see here has embraced warlords. And if we warlord, it's not this this weakness, this scarecrows that you have in this village. No. Mba Mba have you heard of Osama bin Laden? The same man that made the Americans to run the hell task hell. American Knights are mad. The only man that was able to shake America. Who shake America? These are kind of men that are wine and dying with. <laughs> yes. I am not afraid of your brother. Let us forget the story. I don't like to make mouths. <laughs> All I just want you to do is. What's that, man? Do not be afraid. Do not be scared. It is possible. I don't like to make mouths. <laughs> All I just want you to do is prepare your mind to become the king. Yes. You see, it can happen. We and mind together will stand in unity. Father, son, we pull it together and it will happen. No, you know, you're not king. No, you would days of a life. Don't you like what to be a king? You become the king, I will become the prince. You know, very, very soon, very soon, not too long from now, you will die. Once you die, I'll become the king. You know, all those things that you're not able to do, all those movements that look at the kind of house you're staying, I will build a mansion. You know, my rest is a skyscraper. You know, I'm not a person who's 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 This boy's <laughs> Chai! Benson! me! Is this you? Me, flesh and blood! Benson, the militants! Me, flesh and blood! I am back! The terrorists! Me, see, I am back to continue for where you people have stopped and point of correction. 
if you call me terrorist, you are wrong. I'm more than a male terrorist now. See, if you call me Osama Bladen, extraordinary, then you're not wrong. But what happened, what happened to your telephone in Konaka? I've been mean, calling and calling that phone, calling and calling that phone. It was ringing, nobody was answering me, and I deleted it from my diary. My worker, my worker, you need to delete it from your, 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 your book because that phone was ringing on the boom. As a matter of fact, I got so tired of it that I abandoned it. In our order, Nana. Yes, Look, my friend, go inside. Bring Jake. I took the good order. No one with the gist. I have enough gist for you. We have to keep plenty, plenty. There's a plenty, plenty talk to be talked. Get you here. So that you ask him to give you cola. Talk it here. Oh. Talk this thing here. You have no change. Talk it here. Okay, okay. This is stuff serious business. Now listen. What I'm about to tell you is simple. You see, my uncle is parading himself. I mean, as a matter of fact, my uncle is on the throne because nobody has challenged him. Yes! And you know it yourself that it is a very serious taboo for anybody to challenge the king. Talk about it here! Talk about it here! Talk about it here! You don't know anything! Yes! Don't get away! Huh? See, many things you people call taboo in this kingdom is taken for granted in other nations! Yes! Oh, Larry, 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 you need to travel. Larry, if you travel, you say things that, is, things that are obtainable in other nations. Listen, see, we are taking over. As a matter of fact, I met a couple of experts from Soweto. And they educated me on how to make serious money from this kingdom. Yeah. Money from this kingdom? Yes, money. Now I'm interested. Good. Guy, you know, I, I always like money. You make money. Now listen. I've discussed this thing with my father. Okay? You see, my uncle is only parading himself as a king. But he's just a tout. A tout that does not even know what being a king is like. Listen. There's so much money to be made out of kingship, and my uncle does not even know it. Okay, we are here to make all that money. Hold on. Are you sure you have the plans? Oh. Worked out as in perfect plan. Work it out like my this. friend. On paper. I have or are you covering me with blankets? Listen, Larry. I have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is I know you now. You are used to covering people with plenty, plenty blankets. Now, Larry, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Look at me from here to do. Dwell as if I am here for Okoko and the Pini story. I'm not here for Cook and Boo stories. This is, this have changed. I've changed. There's so much money to be made from this uh, uh, kingship. Now listen, I am trusting you to take care of the to take care of the angle of the youth. Don't disappoint us. Don't disappoint us. The consequences are very very deadly. Okay, we are going to make money. Money. If everything moves on according to plan, we will be plenty of money. Nah, nah, we will eat a chicken. We need the chicken to go to market. We will never get the chicken. I am talking about money. Are we going to be mad? I will punish you. The curse. You the credit? Do I look as if I am talking rubbish? Eh? Why not? Let us not worry. Let us not worry. Larry, let us not worry. What? Brosy. You're here? I'm here. This one you came straight to the backyard. Yes, I, I actually met um Ntasuebi on her way out. She told me you were sitting. Okay. Hmm. You're welcome. Uh -huh. And how is your mother? She's sleeping. She's alright. I see. Hey. What? Hmm? What is the problem? I don't understand. What problem? You see, it's been actually five days, in fact, more than five days, that I saw your father, you, with your traveling bag, walk across my shop to this house. Since then, you have not even come out of this house, how much more talking about returning to the palace. So I reasoned within myself that there must be a problem, a very serious problem. Now, I want you to trust me and tell me what this problem is because I am ready to help you no matter what it is. <sighs> Rossi, thank you very much. Thanks for your concern. I, I really appreciate it. You see, if I tell you there is no problem, I'll be lying. 
you know? There's a problem. And the problem is that I have been expelled from the palace. What? What happened? Hmm? I just had a slight misunderstanding with the prince's fiancé, the princess of Ogosi. And they expelled you just like that? Just like that, too. Anyway, the people that speak English, they say what goes around comes around. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. You will not understand. Anyway, um, let me get back to my shop. I didn't even lock my shop. I was so worried about you. I left my shop unlocked. <clears throat> um, okay, thank you very much. Um, but on second thoughts, is it because of this palace thing that you're sitting down here? You're not coming out? You're hiding yourself inside the house? You think the palace is the end of the whole world? Make out time when you're less busy and come to my shop. We will stay together, we will play together, we will play Waterloo together, isn't it? Eh? You hear? Thank you very much, Pahosi. Thank you. I will. I'll do what you've asked me to do. You have promised to. You will do so. Hmm? I will. Okay. So, uh, let me go before these children finish me. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. okay. Take care. Oh. Uh, you are not known to be a night crawler. And I know what, uh, what must have brought you at this time of the night must be very serious. Yes, I'm not known for being a, a night crawler. What brought me is very serious. There is something I want you to guide me uh, through. Well, I'm listening. The pattern of our succession to our, the throne of our kingdom is established and known by all. But I'm thinking ahead. I compare our kingdom with other kingdoms. I have come to you as you know. Is there any situation that can warrant uh, uh, you see uh, a different succession in this kingdom. Is there any situation that can warrant that? Um, I, I don't just understand you. Uh, for that question, I don't think I have an answer to. You see, you see, you see why I'm confused. Even the know who cannot give the answer to the question. You see, where it is proved that a man, though naturally, is not to be made a king but walked into government hearts to convince the government and even ready to attract all the governments into the land for development purposes. No, is there any reason why we are not going to make such a man the king? Obuesi, you see, that man can never be king. And let me make it known to you that when your brother if he dies, the son will take over the kingship from him and not that man you are talking about. No, no, it seems you did not understand me properly. The said man, the said man has the capacity to lure governments into our land and develop everywhere. Look, chief, that man, you see, we have a tradition. The custom is there. That must be followed. And let me tell you, if that man brings the government of El Dorado, look, we value our tradition than worth of nations. So if that is what brought you here this night, just go home and sleep. There's no cause for alarm. He can never be king. Yes. Go home. Okay. No. No cause for alarm. You're welcome. Okay. John! In a 
baby. Ella, baby. Ella of this very millennium. Baby, you're looking sweet. You're looking sweet. Please, I'm not in the mood. What kind of mood will you be? Will you be in now? I mean, won't you catch yourself lucky? Won't you catch yourself lucky to have woken up from the same bed of the coming prince? Come on, come on! Please, I don't have time for all this. Just give me my money, let me leave. You are just talking money, 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 money. See, the privilege of pulling chak me, of pulling the ways of the coming prince is more than any amount of money. Don't you know? It's more than any amount of money. You are calling yourself a prince. You are not a prince. <laughs> well, well, well. That's only correct as we are speaking now. But in the next few days, this guy that just finished you last night is going to be the prince. And if cares not the king, it's going to be the king. So go on, we can lock you. You are very lucky. And make sure you play your you play your league very well with me so that you can always have a place. Please, time is not on my side. Can I just have that money? Wow, wow. this girl, Ina Elana, what for you? You're just talking money, 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 as if your life depends on it. Did, did, did you enjoy the uh, work that we did last time? The topic was, was deep. Anyway, let me be a sit on me back also. We'll give you the money. I have money, money is not my problem. My problem is that if I give you the money, you must work for the money like you just worked for it last night. This is money now, Ella. This is money. Let me know if you can't. I don't even let me give it to you, but before I give it to you. Let me warn you. I want to warn you. Make sure no other guy, no other guy touches you. Did you hear me? Because you see, what I gave you hmm, is meant to last for the next. 20 years. Yes, what I pop it that you put here. Eh? The duration and the sparring date is supposed to be for 20 years. See, what I give you is the mixture of, 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 of temperature and, and money. Temperature from different countries and, and many, many other things. I'll give you the money. But listen, when they call you, yes, answer them, yes. And tell them that, look, I am okay for now. Hear me? Collect your money! <laughs> Ella! Ella! Hey! 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 What's the problem? And have you started making any moves yet? I want you to kill this agenda. It is not going to work. Says who? Is it? Oh, come on! Why are you always thinking the impossible? Benson, this is not issue of possible, impossible, or whatever. I am talking of the matter on the ground. I went to see the Ono yesterday, and he told me that the tradition must be followed. Then you go back to the Ono and tell him that he's talking around nonsense. Yes! I met with the youth leader yesterday, and I discussed with him, and he saw every reason for this change and this move. Yes! Everybody right now is sick and tired of your brother's work as government. Now, who is the Onuru if the youths decide for a change? Who is he? You discuss with the youths? Yes! And they are supporting the move? Democracy is the order of the day. How can one, one man want to rule forever? Why? Benson, you are persuading me to do this. You are persuading me to do this. I wouldn't want to fail. You cannot fail. It's not possible for you to fail. You see, failure is not in our lineage. Okay? You take care of the elders. I will take care of the youth. And nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. Oh, be we me. Oh, we see. Okay, we see. Yes. 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 Should I go naked? Because it's a one month trip? Come on, don't just be bitchy in here, okay? I, I care, that's what I'm asking. I'm worried about you. Moreover, your face doesn't even look lighter. Is there anything the matter? Yes, there is something the matter. 
but I've already told you about it. Didn't I tell you I had to go because of my interviews? Okay. Fine, then, you know, maybe we can use them. Fix the dates so I'm If you ask me, I will say, let's just put it on hold until I come back. Because the outcome of my interview will determine when we do the wedding, how we do it, when we do it. That doesn't really matter. We could just fix the date so we could work with it, you know? You know sometime in October, uh, August, September. You know, sometime when the wind is less. Which would you rather prefer? Well, since you asked, I'd say August. August? Yeah. Perfect. Really? Okay, so what are you going to wear on Saturday? Saturday? Yes. What happens on Saturday? You are kidding me, yeah? You don't remember what Saturday is? You don't remember what's going to happen on Saturday? What? Well, Saturday is a day when your family and my family meet in my palace. I was saying the reason why I said you should do less of tradition and embrace the trend of civilization. Have you seen it? I told you to move fast and grab the throne, but you refused. Now, the throne is at the verge of becoming vacant. It took you to but no. Now, I want it, want it, want it, want it. Where are you coming from? Did you go to Guinea to learn how to talk in parables? Papa, I am not speaking in parables. I am only telling you what is happening under your nose. The rumor everywhere right now is that your brother, the king, is sick. What? Yes! You don't have to be surprised. Why are you surprised? He's sick. And from what I gathered outside, they said this sickness is going to lead to death. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to see this as an opportunity. Seize this opportunity, grab it as an advantage, okay? Move into the elders, convince them, let them see every reason why they must support us. We must have the throne. When we have the throne, I, Benson, I have enough contact to bring international bodies like um, United Nations. When United Nations comes to this kingdom. Well, you are welcome, Mazio Bika and son. Um... Hey, look. He's not coming. We have heard your reasons for the visit. Our people say, our people say that if this car did not fear to find itself on the forehead of a handsome man, that if a handsome man will not fear to carry this car on his forehead to the marketplace. Um, what are they? What are they, ma? Papa. Okay, tell can go. Sit down. Right. Allow him to talk. He has not talked. He has not said anything. Uh -huh. From my mom. Ma, so big. Son. They have come to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> hey, look, I want you. Hey, look, I come. What is it? It was, it was, it was, it was, you have to pray now. This is a very fine journey. The way to course is not very fine. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Almighty God, we call on you to escort us, to grant us traveling mercy to Okosi. Yes, As my son is going to get married, we ask you, Father, to bless the marriage with good health, he he say, with the fruit of the womb, he he say, with wealth he he say, and wisdom. He he say, may we go and come back in good health. He he say, say, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> My daughter is not going anywhere. This is her father's compound. She's going nowhere. Abomo, you can go with her if you want to. But on whether she must leave this house tonight is not negotiable. Papa has started this on now. Mama, she, she your sing. She your sing, okay. Hey. Mm. Papa, what is this one now? Leave Mama's things out of this now. What has Mama done to you? Fine, I will go. But just allow Mama's things inside the house. What the man? You're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. What the man? You can go with her. You better go with her, because she's going somewhere. Look at this animal. You had the God to stand before a titled man and his son to refuse. Imbecile son! I don't care even if he's crippled. You don't deserve better. Eh? The most important thing is that this boy said that he loves you much. To fear, Kwagi. Baba, to fear, Kwa. Me. Papa, look, I know I deserve better. I know what I deserve. Now, even if I don't deserve the best, I certainly will not take the worst. Yes, is there. What the man? Papa, leave You are still standing there talking. Papa, can't you see his Wait for me. You have to come and take my master's inside. Hey, Chibi. Hey, Chibi. Why do you kill? Papa. Papa, Papa, leave her now. Can't you see his legs? Shut up! I'm not Go and carry your mother. Go and carry your mother. What's happening there? My dad just chased me out of the house. Why? What did you do? You know, the last time you asked me what was the problem, I, I wasn't bold enough to tell you. But, Rosie, I, I am pregnant. Eh? <laughs> Look, Rosie, I, I, I don't know, but I need your help. Remember you, you told me the last time that whenever I need help from you, whatever it is, that you were going to help me. Hey, but... Uh, how do you want me to help you now in this one? Rosie, please. Look, I don't have any other place to go to. I mean, you're, you're like the only one I have right now. So please just let me stay with you. Please. Does that mean I'm responsible for the pregnancy? No, 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 no. Hey, Bossy, no. No, this is just for shelter now. Only shelter, just for a short time. Please, I don't have another place to go to, I beg of you. Mm. Because it's just between me and you, nobody will know. I don't even want my parents to know about it. Okay. The rumor is everywhere that you're not the daughter of your father. I beg your pardon, Clara. What does that mean? <laughs> don't even open your eyes as if you're hearing it for the first time. Mm. Yeah, Halele, leave. I'm warning you for the last time. Just leave. 
Do you think you can dismiss me? You cannot. Ma, -a, why are you waging war against your own sister? Why? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Don't tell me that nonsense. See, if you are not here to talk reasonable things, just leave. Because I know anytime you call you, you always talk, cho 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 cho, poke nose. Talk what is your business and what Everybody. is not your business. They are saying that you're not the daughter of your father. Mm. See, if you were the daughter of your father, why would you be waging war against your own sister? At this point, she needs you the most. Why? <laughs> Baby, I came from your father or your mother, or that your uncle that his leg is like this. Listen, Clara, I'm warning you for the very last time. Leave this place and don't ever try to come back. Do you hear that? Because if you do, I will show you the other side of me. Oh, <laughs> you I'm must treat your heart and mind your business. You come here to tell me nonsense. No, no. See her leg. <laughs> don't ever try to come to this place again, no. Ah, uh, see, if you come here, you regret me. Oh, you, you don't know me. You don't know me. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry over what I'm going to say, but it is the truth. I, I'm not comfortable with this, your visit. I, I cannot say why, why you are not comfortable with my visit. I cannot say why. I am a credible chief in this land. It has never been quoted that I am evil any time. Why are you not comfortable? To the best of my knowledge, for the past 10 years, you have not entered this compound. Naturally, I'm bothered that you are here to tell me we need to talk. You are right to say that I have not visited here for so many years. But you should know that as an Obwefi, I should not pay useless visits. I am here because I know you are close to my brother, the king. I want us to talk like men. I'm listening. You see, I saw a trance where the traditions of this kingdom is being rewritten. All I need from you is your undiluted support. My own support? What do you mean by that? You see, I saw myself wearing the crown of this kingdom and every other person, including yourself, were bound down before me. I, Ichi Ama, to Fiakwa. That cannot be done. <laughs> Depends what you mean by Tufiakwa. I am telling you what I saw. What I know is that no matter what you saw, the, the tradition of our land cannot be rewritten. There is no way you can become king. Uh, but you know my brother is the king. My own brother is the king. Of course I know he's a king. His only son will succeed him when he dies. So you are useless. You are useless trans cannot change our tradition. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you cannot say that what I saw is worthless. No, you don't know uh, uh, what the gods are planning to change things for better. Yes, I know. Our tradition accepts that my brother's son will succeed him when he dies. But who knows? Who knows the plans of the gods? They may be planning to change things to suit us. We need prosperity. We need progress here. The gods might be rearranging things for such actions. And it doesn't mean that the, the former person who, or the person who is the, on top now will surely remain there. The, the, the gods can change things. Okay, so when I'm done with my interview, what happens? You give up classes? <laughs> That's really funny. Because I wouldn't be attending those classes because I need them, or because I want to go to school, or because it's important to my life. No. I, I'll just be attending because I just want to stay there and wait for you while you, you go around with your stuff. So you tell me, does that make sense? Anything to you, Dolly? Yes, come in. My prince, you sent for me. 
Yes, I sent for you. Have you checked the noise on the car? Is it all right? I hope it's nothing serious. I don't think so, Prince. Don't think so. No guesses. And make sure it's working properly, otherwise repair it. If it is not, then prepare it. I have somewhere going tomorrow morning. Okay, my Prince. What are your eyes? Not somewhere. Somewhere else. Where? I have some going before I go to the airport. Nadia has left the house, Your Highness. Where has she gone to? No, I don't know. My father drove her out last night. He did what? He drove her out. Is he in? Can I speak with him? No. He left this morning too. My word. You're the sister, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay, now just think a little bit. Do you have any idea as to where she could have possibly gone to? No, no, Your Highness. I don't know. We are all very worried about it. My mother couldn't even sleep last night because of it. I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. My prince, is there anything you think we should talk about? No. Well, yeah, I think there is. <laughs> okay, I'm all ears, your highness. It's, I've been, I've been thinking. About what, my prince? Your nosiness. Your inquisitiveness to get to know everything. Things that don't even concern you. It's not your business. That's what you want to find out about. Why is that so? <sighs> I'm sorry, my prince. Did you get the servants to have my luggage on standby? I did, your highness. Good. Those are the things you're supposed to be anxious, struggling to know about. Thank you, Ernest. I ask you once again, where is my son? Your Majesty, I'm so sorry. They, they set out so early in the morning. Oh, but I do not give me that. Do not give me that. Or else I will reckon this as an act of gross incompetence on your part. He is supposed to be on his way to the airport by now. All of a sudden, he disappeared. Daddy, his PA should be held responsible. I overheard them talking about his disappearance today. Oh, Dad. Where are you coming from? Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. He's asking you where you are coming from. Well, I just went for a little walk. I'm back now. All set for the airport. My luggage has been loaded in the car as we speak. I just came to let you know that I'm about to depart. Induka will drop me off at the local airport. And from there, I will connect to Abuja. My flight is for 10 o'clock tonight. I was supposed to go with you to the airport. You could, but as you can see, I'm running late. I'm ready. Ada, take care.
truth is that I can no longer stand the emotional burden and the guilt in me for denying that innocent girl. Hence, I'm embarking on this trip. There is no job and neither there is any job interview anywhere. I just had it up to the jaw and I realized that the best way to regain my sanity is just to quit. I am not coming back or even thinking of coming back anytime soon until I can finally decipher the best ways to deal with these issues as it appeals to my personal ethics and morality. I would like you to let mom read through this as well and say hi to Ada. When did he give this to you? Your Majesty, upon alighting from the car at the airport. You are not just coming back from the airport, are you? No, Your Majesty. It's just that he asked me not to deliver it until night's fall. You do not have such right. You do not. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. It's just that I'm following this. Now, leave. Leave! Is there anyone you know that can help us get into him? I want you to tell me the truth. Are you sure you hear them properly? I'm not joking. He came to my house to say he may be the next king and needs my support. Does it mean Obuefi want to kill his brother and impose himself the king? I don't think so. He wasn't talking violently. And I must tell you that he has no intention to impose himself on anyone. How else do you think that Obuefi will become a king in this land? While the prince is there, the father is still so strong. Obuefi is coming from a different direction. He said the gods are planning to make him the king. He and he really needs our support. I want you to do me a favor and let it be a secret between you and me. If the gods let her make him a king, we will support him. But for now, let's forget about the matter. If I tell you I know what you're talking about, then I lie. Hmm. Hmm. Helen, my sister Wad is not willing to solve her problem once and for all. And this is, this is making me very crazy and bitter. How do you want her to solve the problem? By marrying an imbecile? Is it not better? Tell me, Okawama, oh, than delivering the child in our compound. Why would she be pregnant at the first place? Why would she? <laughs> now I know what Kara is talking about. It's true. Wait. Eh, okay. Clara told you things, eh? Clara told you things and your hair telling me it's true. Okay, what did she say? I'm sorry. You sick. Eh? And I have every reason to believe her. Believe her. Clara told you that I'm sick. Yes. And your hair standing in front of me telling me you believe her. Why would I believe her? Why wouldn't I believe her? You're really sick because I didn't expect you to say a thing like this. Is it because you've not told you that you are aborted? How many times have you done an abortion? Eh? Is it because you've not said it? How many times have you done it? Helen. Yes. How many abortions have you done? Helen. Please don't call me. You're very, very wicked girl. Very wicked friend. Since you could wish your sister a future with an imbecile. Then, you're a very, very wicked friend. You could wish me dead as a friend. I'm so sorry, I can't have a friend like you. You're a very, very bad girl. Helen! Please, ah, leave me alone. Helen! And don't ever come to see me because I, I, don't, I will not even take you back. Helen! To be sincere with you, I heard the underground plan and I think it is proper. Good. I'm so glad that a man of your caliber, Benjamin, it's taking towards the direction. I mean, that's the way forward. Yes, I'm impressed. I'm not the only one who desires this change. Many young men in this village think that the change is even long overdue. Now tell me, what's stopping from going to Nana and think that his father's tenure is over? I mean, that people do not appreciate their ruling anymore. What stops me? I think that will be too confrontational. The way you're going about it is still the best. Leave him, let him be going like a sheep gone out of gas. Before he knows what is happening, the carpet will be pulled off his foot. My brother, I'm impressed. 
I used to think um, Larry was the man, but you are the man. Don't worry. By the time this battle is over, I'll make your life comfortable. Trust me. I trust you. God bless you. Hmm. Wandi, please make sure nothing goes wrong. Please, I'm begging you. Nothing is going wrong. I'm fine. I've told you that. Can you say you're fine when your labor has refused to come? Eh? You said the doctor gave you fifth, and today is eleventh. Today is tenth now. Eh, tenth or eleventh? What's the difference? Eh? How, how how does that make anything feel good? Uh, uh, have you heard anything from my parents? Are they all right? They are fine. Yeah, everything is all right. You're sure? They are all fine. Thank you. Thank you, Sifot. I don't think I want to eat now. Just keep it from me. I'll probably just take a shower a lot later. Ah. Hey, that reminds me. I I met Obi the early market, and she was asking me if there was somebody else in the house. What happened? To she did. Yes, she did. Oh, well, see, it's not like anything happened though. It was hot in the house. I just wanted to take a cold shower outside, and then I I stepped out and I heard her footsteps. So I just froze. You know, I heard her asking who that was, but I didn't say anything. So, the next thing she left. So, what did she say? Oh, well, nothing. Well, I told her there was nobody else in the house. All right, let, let me see this for you. <coughs> Luca, what is it? What is it? Are you telling me that you are emotionally attached to the prince? That you can become so bothered and unnecessarily disturbed just because he traveled back to Europe? Felicia, you won't understand. You won't understand, Felicia. Nduka. What, what, can you just. What, what's the problem? What, what is it? Just tell me, okay? What, what, what's wrong? Listen, I have a message that will shake the foundation of this palace and I am preparing my mind for it. I mean, I am preparing my mind for it, Felicia. What kind of message is it, please? Eh? What? Does it have anything to do with our lives? Eh? What, what kind of message? Does it have anything to do with our lives? What, 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 what kind of message? Felicia, you know what? You have no life. I want you to go back to your room. Just go back to your room and leave me. I can handle it. I mean, I can handle it. Just leave me. Go back to your room. I can handle it. You are beginning to sound like a woman who thrives in gossip, and I, I am not impressed. Are you telling me that you actually brought me here to gossip with me or what? Oga Larry, this is not gossip at all. I am telling you what I saw what with my see? eyes. What did you see? Oh, Sita is harboring a woman in his house, and you need to go in there and find out who she is. I no. Are you listening to yourself? Are you just listening to yourself? No. Are you telling me that all the women we have in this kingdom cannot mind their businesses? No, is that what they're telling me? Larry, you are sounding as if you don't know the implications of harboring a woman in this kingdom. There is no implication anything. No implication. No implication. Huh. What is your business? What is your business that Rosita is keeping a woman or even women in his house? No, tell me. Do you want him to keep men in his house? Is that what I'm saying? We are talking of an unmarried man here. Whatever he is doing with that woman I saw is immoral. And it can bring the kingdom down. Ah, this woman. Shut up. What? Immoral what? He's not talking about immoral. Oh, God. Listen to me. That woman, that girl that you saw in Ustaz's house, 
cannot bring the kingdom down because as we are talking now, the kingdom is down already. It's down, down on the floor. Kingdom? Down on the floor. Are you sure you are still the same Larry I used to trust? <laughs> I am not even bothered if you don't trust me anymore. Don't look at me like that. I'm not even bothered. I still don't trust me anymore. We are in the new millennium. You don't even know that one. And in this millennium now, there are some goals that they set in the millennium that they call the Millennium Development Goals. And one of the goals is that everything must change. And everything is changing except you. Are you insulting me or what? Yeah, well, how, how, how can I insult you? I'm not insulting you now. You're talking immoral, immoral. And I don't know this guy kind anymore of you're talking about. I don't know. Listen, if God will open your eyes around this environment that we are now, this environment here, you know, these closed doors and windows you see around here, and you see the level of immorality that is going on in all these closed doors now, this is it now, you will know that what Osita is doing with that girl in his house is nothing. Listen to me, Obidia Melissel. Even as we are here now, somebody like me, don't put me anywhere, I'm telling you. Mm. Even the throne itself, I can even suspect the immorality there on the throne itself. That's the why throne. the kingdom is down. They have your white man. You don't know. White man prince. And two of them are black. Black queen, black king. White man prince. Immorality. Like. just come here to Abomma. My. Did you find her? Abomma. Try to help yourself. Try to help yourself and stop thinking about Wadima for now. You sent my daughter away. My. My find Wadima for me. My daughter. I find my daughter for me. Ma, please. Please. Please stop. Ma. Am I not trying? Eh? Am I not doing my best? Why do you want to leave me, Ma? Please, Ma, please, only this to me, please. Kasi, Kasi, my daughter. Kasi, you are trying. Kasi, the battle has been lost. Abama, will you stop saying rubbish into people's ears? Sorry, sorry, no. What do you want? I'm sorry. No. You killed the one you want for me. You sent her back. I'm sorry. No, I find the one you want for me. Your daughter sent herself away. I did not prevent her out of marriage. The laws of the land have to be obeyed. I don't want to incur the wrath of the gods because of a wayward daughter. She killed herself. She sent herself away by refusing to tell us who the baby's father was. Please, Ma, she's coming now. Ma, it's okay. She's coming. Please, do something, Ma. She's coming. Please. 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 They say that cowards die many times before their deaths. But villains, they don't even get days of death but once. What do you mean by that? Meaning that you should stand up and fight for your rights. Fight as if your life depends on it. And this is what I'm doing. This is what I am doing. I am using instrument of diplomacy. Look, Benson, we will not do this thing as if we are fighting people outside us. This is a family issue. Uh, if you ask me, 
your brother and his son, they are outsiders. Bless him! You say what? What do you mean by this? Yes! But what does I see it? I have not even benefited anything from the throne. You see, your brother does not even know how to make money. Yes! Look, all I need you to do is go to the elders, make promises. Even make promises that are not possible. The end will justify the means. Yes, this is an act of deceiving the people. Hey. And I, 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 no, 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 Papa, no, no. Who are you deceiving? These people are nobody. They are nothing. Papa, I am telling and teaching you what politicians do to win elections. Papa, you go there. Make promises. Make promises and promises and promises. Promises in the heaven and the earth. Okay? When you are soon thrown, you simply tell them that all these promises, they are on papa line. Papa, because you know where to borrow. You will say some growing in the house. Papa, maybe you ask, as you did so that I, Blaster, can become the king. And if I become the king, if I deserve no money, I'll stop acting like one, one laid back local champion chief. You will say some brain. Cannot be like this. You will say some brain. What exactly are we doing? Even if you forget everything, do not forget what I told you about this road. The manifestation is coming closer and closer. Don't tell me you are still thinking about the throne. When you appear before the king as a member of council tomorrow, eh? bear this in mind. There's a new dawn and I want you to be part of this new dawn. I have already discussed with some elders and uh, we shared the same view that you will never be a king in this land. Are you not getting my point? <laughs> the hunter that enters the bush with his gun and his machete does not know the particular animal he will kill. But he knows that something must happen in the bush. How do you mean? I, I want you to have the determination of the hunter. You see it? I want you to have the determination of that hunter who does not know the particular animal is going to kill, but he knows that something is going to happen. When it starts happening, wherever you see me stand, or wherever you see me standing, come and stand there and be part of this new history, this kingdom. Yes. It's very simple. Think well, reason well like a good hunter you can't be sure of everything See a doctor then. I hear the new doctor has taken over at the health center here. I will. I will, especially the pain down the. The, the prostrate? That prostrate problem has been taken care of. Why do you keep referring to it? I hear prostate cancers can never be treated. Ah. Prostate cancers of the first stage can always be treated with surgical operation. And that is what happened in my own case. Please. Let me go and see my chiefs. It's alright. Yes. Just manage it. I will. You did that. Yes. 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 Yes.
I am not going to ask you why you are here because I know. But the truth is that I am not ready to discuss it. Why do you conclude too fast? You are Nietzsche and you should not conclude like that. What do you want? Why are you clamoring to be king? Why your brother is still on the throne? You made a mistake to say that I'm clamoring. I am not clamoring. The gods of the land are the ones planning to make me king. All I need from you is support. Look, there is only one thing. Why I have not discussed this madness with the king. And it's because I know it can bring hatred in your family. And I wouldn't want it to happen. But I tell you, Obuefi, if you continue in the path you are trading, I might damn the consequence and open up to the Igwe. <laughs> Look, men who are bestowed with leadership qualities from birth are not afraid of men who are already going very close to their graves. And what does that mean? My brother has ruled this kingdom for 29 years. Can you show me even a thing you gained as a lawyer elder? You see, it can't even attract uh, the state and federal government interest. You see, because it lacks the capacity to do that. Everything will change when I become the king. I will invite the United Nations into this very kingdom and people like you will begin to see money every month. I mean, real money. There is money in kingship. And I want to prove it. Oh yes. Everywhere you go, people are hungry here and there. I want to change that situation. Your Majesty, I'm here because I have the result of your liver biopsy. And I was going through your folder. I realized that you suffered cancer in the past, about two years back. Yes. I had a prostate cancer some two years ago, but it was treated by a doctor from your clinic, your former colleague. Actually, I underwent you know, surgical excision and uh, became just fine. Mm, I see. Does that have anything to do with his present condition of health? It has, Your Majesty. It has something to do with it. You see, the cancer that attacked you, that affected your prostate two years ago, has metastasized into your liver with tenacity. What? Sadly, yes. And I also discovered that you took a dosage of folic acid in the past. I mean in June. Yes, that was when I had a slight fever. Your Majesty, people with your health conditions are always advised to stick to one medical center, possibly one doctor. Yes, what happened was that I traveled to Onesia uh, when I had the uh, attack of fever. So I went to a health facility where they prescribed drugs for me. It was uh, when I came back that the doctor from your clinic said that as a cancer patient, I shouldn't be taking too much of folic acid. Taking too much? Your Majesty shouldn't touch it at all because it's not meant for you. God. So, is it going to be another surgery or something? I doubt if surgery is the case. But don't worry, be happy. Because I'm on top of the situation. Yeah. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Majesty. Um, how about your son? Um, he is not a... Um, what about my son? Is there anything wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. Only I heard that he's a golfer. And I'm a player. And I'm just thinking maybe we can have a game or two. And moreover, since I set a visitation here, I haven't been able to meet him. No, you will see him one of these days. Thank you, Your Majesty. And Ma, you take care of him. I'll see you around. Thank you. No. Thank you very much.
So tell me, girl, what are you saying? Seriously, Molly. Do you want me to tell you the truth? Yeah? I don't like those guys. Onyeka, I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about Benson, my own guy. Okay? He's asked us to come over and I don't see anything wrong in that. All you need to do is just keep me company. I know you're scared, but Larry's not going to be there. I mean, ben Benson assured me of that. See, Larry is not only my problem. Even your so-called Benson, he puts me off. What? My guy puts you off? Yeah. Benson. Wait, are you telling me that you are you my boyfriend? What? Oh! Please, give me some credit, girlfriend, okay? What will I be doing with your guy? See, Benson is a braggart. And guess what? I don't fancy braggarts. Then just do me this favor, okay? Just go with me and keep me company. I'm not asking you to, you know? Anyway, I know Benson is a braggart. But he's not stingy with money. And tell me, isn't that what we all value, mostly in men? Speak for yourself, girl. You know what I value in men? Tell me. It's not just money. You know, I value courage and charisma. Tell me something, girlfriend. Yeah. Charisma. Yeah. to <laughs> make <laughs> me. Because you just look at me. Oh God, What is left of me? What the man? God is left in you. Wipe your tears. Huh? Stop crying. I hope you have had her. Hmm? You know you have not been feeling very well. And then consider this little child you have here. Don't cry like this. From where will I take so less from? From where will I find so less? Just look at me. My mother is good. Oh God. Now you're dead. Please help us talk to her now. Please. Don't involve me. Don't involve me at all. Let her cry. Crying does not kill. Otherwise, her little sister here would have been dead and buried by now. Because she started crying even before their mother died. Let her cry. It's all her fault. It's all her fault Mama died. That's it. Don't you ever try to call my name again. Do you hear that? If you didn't go and get pregnant of this bastard, Mama wouldn't have died thinking I'm worrying about you. Just pray. Pray so that my spirit will ever forgive you. The issue right now is that the cancer is eating deeply into your father's liver. And to be honest with you, the situation is terminal. Terminal? Wait, doctor. So you're saying he's definitely going to die? So sad is the truth. So from what you're saying, give and take, how long do you think he's going to live for? I wouldn't know. But all I can tell you is that your father showed a rare instinct of resilience and that's what kept him alive up till this moment. I'm sorry, you have to take it easy. I'll get back to my office, all right? Mamba, your father is about to leave me. Mamba, 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 lolly, where this is what I don't want to hear. Huh? Well, I think all you do now is to focus on you, not this crying. 
Shukwe, is there anything we will do for you? Yes. I need privacy with my family. Okay. Princess, please excuse us. Okay, we're here. All your sacrifices and support, my brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. It's obvious that I will die in a few days' time. <laughs> Nothing will happen to you. And consequently, my kingship will have to change hands. Change hands? Why? Well, you do not have a son to go with you to Iyaba Hills. Unless something urgent is done. But Dad, I'm not married. When I get married, I'll get a son. Oh, my son. The kingship of Blue Kingdom cannot be vacant for more than three market weeks. Dad, so I'm not going to succeed you. What, 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 what about what about the girl's child? I heard, I heard that. That's impossible. We agreed to block her hands on everything that concerns that girl and her baby. And it stands. Listen to me, Chima. This is the kind of situation that made our people to say that when you see something bigger than the farm, the ban is sold. Abu Efi told me yesterday that that girl had a baby boy. Hence, I decree that she must be sought for. Apologized to the reconciled route, and that son of ours brought back as a apparent for his coronation. What about Ada? What about Ada? Your Majesty, have you forgotten Ada? Oh, Your Majesty. Chime. When something bigger than the farm surfaces, the ban is sold to meet ends. Uh, yes. Oh. Is that all right? Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Just call me, doctor. Doctor. Son, you are about to take your turn in our family dynasty. Make hay while the sun shines. Stand for the truth at all times, no matter the circumstances. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Thank you. Now help me out. Dad. 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 Nana. What is that? What happened? Dad. Eh? Nana. He wanted to sit up. What happened? I don't want to sit him up. Dad. Dad. Hey. Hey. Ojinaka. Oh my god. Ojinaka. Ojinaka. Was in Naka? Hey, my brother! What is this now? Don't do this to us, please, please. You see, guys, know what? Just drink anything you want, okay? I am the common prince, and I'm equal to the tax. Yes. Um, there's this rumor in town that your father is coming to become the next king. So, is that in any way connected with the common prince you just called yourself? You see, it is established that my father is the next king. 
And I don't understand what you mean by scheming. The elders found out that the dying king is incompetent. So they are begging my father to be the next king. So it's got to do with scheming or whatever. We can't scheme. We don't scheme. Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to tell us that the elders are behind this call you're presenting us, Noble? Hey, what is really going on here? I said, I, why are you people talking like technical people? The other one says scheming. The other one saying, Noble, see, I brought us here to be happy. Have fun, drink, spend my money. Okay? Or don't you girls want to be happy? We want to be happy. We are happy. That's better. I mean, let's be happy. I mean, let's have fun, drink, and enjoy ourselves and talk less of, of, of being technical. Okay? Yeah, but Prince Nana is supposed to be the next king. The elders found out that Nana will be as tall as his father. And they're tired of dollars. That's why my father is going to become the king. Because that's the advantage he has over every other person. Really? I am the common prince. The next prince. The prince. I like that name. Oh, Call me that again. The next prince. <laughs> that's whom I am. So let's enjoy ourselves. I mean, let's, let's have fun, drink, money to be spent. his son, the prince, joined his mother and I straight from the airport. He saw more than I did. He knows more than I know. So I will call on him to address us. Nana. Yeah, welcome our son. My uncle said, I was at the hospital. I witnessed. And I confirmed that my father, Igwe, Omenu Kwako, Ojili Naka,
my son stopped crying. Yeah. So, okay. Talk, Nana, put him to sleep. Are you sure he won't scream in just a minute? <laughs> I made sure this time. Okay. Hey, so tell me, you. What killed the king all of a sudden? I don't know, but I heard it's cancer. Cancer? Yes. And now that his wicked brother will take over the reign. Uh, Wifi. You can imagine. But what about the king's son, um, Nana? It's the custom now. They said he cannot succeed his father because he has no son yet. Yeah, poor him. And they should give him some more time now. Mm, they gave him a maximum of four native weeks. Hey, unless he has a woman who's pregnant for him already. <laughs> Which woman gives birth in 14 days? But, um, Mwadi, there's this, I don't know, shall we? What? Remember now. Remember what? That it was uh, the prince who got you pregnant. So what? So I should hand over my child to him so he could reclaim his throne? If you ask me, I will say you should just put everything behind you and just do it for him. Put my dead mother behind me? Or all the traumas? All the rejection by my family? Or all the shames behind me? Udoka, please do not add insults to a cancerous injury. Wadi, I'm sorry. It's not what you think. Wadi, I'm sorry. Well, you all are welcome to my house. But you all know that even if I have anything to say, it will just be very little. Because the whole thing revolves around Mwadema, my daughter. He who wears the shoe goes where the bitches see. That I must be bold enough to condemn what is condemnable. Mazuba, somebody like you should not be in this meeting in the first place because you know what happened and you never told them. Let me say case. something here. This is my case. I want to ask a question. I want somebody here to tell me if my son had not become inevitable to the prince's ascension to the throne, would anyone here ever honestly advocated for his reclamation? Would anyone ever think him son enough for the prince? My daughter, please, may your anger calm down. Can my anger ever calm? Can it? Let's assume my anger comes. What about my heartbroken mother whose body lies in the grave? If it were you, Uche, who was grieved and died because of this heartless denial, would you ever, seriously, truthfully, would you ever stop raging? One day. Please. Please. I don't have the heart or the confidence to ask for forgiveness. But I'm here today. 
I know from the way my mother spoke, it might seem as if we came here only because of the child. But when I set out today to come here, it's because I wanted to achieve at least one of two things. Yes, to ask for the child, but also to ask for your forgiveness. To admit my guilt that I've done you wrong and that I'm sorry. To ask you to forgive me because I need that liberation. One day. Can you please forgive me? No. You know, I... I used to think I could. I can't. My heart is heavy. My heart is so heavy, Your Highness. I cannot forgive this dehumanization. My sister here and her son, the prince, have done more than they even should to come here and seek for reconciliation. Please, consider it. Let your son repossess his royal origin. Point of correction, Michi. My son's father is nobody from the Odimpa's royal family. Say what don't you know? I want to know what you know. <laughs> well, I just know that your lineage is a royal lineage, and that kingship has never changed hand in your family history. Uh huh. Ah, uh, do you believe in history? Yes, I do. Ah, I don't. I don't believe in history. <laughs> I am very disappointed with myself right now. Very disappointed. Huh? Now, how am I supposed to look at my children's faces and say, You are supposed to be again? <laughs> Can I tell my children that? <laughs> How could I? Oh, what happened? Oh, Daddy messed up. He messed up. <laughs> because of my own astute cowardice. <laughs> that 
that's what happened? Huh? Daddy messed up. Now you cannot be a kid. What? 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 What, what, what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, Daddy could not have you on time before his father's mm. death. That's what happened. But I'm beginning to think at what age? At what age? Huh? 33? How ridiculous is that? How ridiculous is that? Huh? Okay, I see. Maybe there's another reason why I could not square up to them. Yeah. They want daddy to do certain things and daddy cannot say no, I won't do it. Ah, <laughs> there's another reason. Is it that I was chasing my degree in London, in the UK. That's why. Bachelor in Economics. Huh? MSC. Comparative and Analytical Economics. <laughs> Can you say that? Say it, say it. Mm -hmm. Comparative and Analytical Economics. M A in conflict resolution. And now there is a conflict. There is a conflict, and I can't even solve it. Me, Prince, former Prince, yes, former Prince, Nana. Ojinaka. Can't solve. My prince, what's going down? Can't solve. What's going down? A conflict of, of self esteem. Self esteem. Please just calm down. I can't solve it. My prince, please. Please just calm down. You want me to calm down? Yes, please. I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I'll calm down. Please, please, man. You want me to you want me to calm easy, down? Easy. You want me to calm down? Huh? Easy. Just take it easy. Do you know what is happening here? Do you have an idea? My generation is about to go down the drain. No, please don't and you take say, it hard. Calm down. Don't take it hard on yourself, please. Huh? My forefathers please. are going to blame me. Just, me. Just calm down. Not you, me. And my children's children, children's 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 children will be disappointed in me. You must understand that all this are nobody's fault. Do you know? Irrespective of how things are turning out, it's do just okay. You know, do you know that you are the last? that I want to see. What? Mm -hmm. Just leave me alone. Okay? Come on, my sweetheart. Leave me alone. I want you to just leave my life. Leave it. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. My sweetheart. Go. Just go. Leave. It has Go! Me. No, no, Your Majesty. Don't take it like that. You can see he's drunk. Oh, I'm drunk. You two get out. Get out! Go! Just leave me alone. in my time.
See, I uh, was just hanging out with some guys in Bendale. And I was telling them that my village is more developed uh, than theirs. And they were arguing. Mm -hmm. Can you be that? So must you tell them that? I mean, what's so special about this village of yours? Chai! Chai! May not object. Cool down. Now let me tell you something, right? I mean, take a look. Take a look at what we have on this table. I mean, this is red label. Red label. I mean, we drink red label when we are thirsty. But in Bendel, when they are thirsty, they drink stream water. <laughs> ah, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to talk. Look at what we're having here. Look at the environment. It's so cozy. Is that not? No, 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 no. Turn around, turn around. Take a look at the bar. This bar is filled with choice drinks. Ranging from juicy drinks that will justify your life, then alcoholic drinks, then to you to purified water. This water is purified and purified that if you drink it, all the malaria in your body will be cured. Hey. This is what I'm talking about. You see, when people argue with me, I laugh, I laugh, I laugh because they do not know. Do you understand? It's the truth that will set them free. No, I don't know the part of Bender that you know, okay? But I can assure you this that this bar, this joint, is not even up to the lowest bar. That we have in our play. What I'm saying. <laughs> are you telling us? Are you telling him that two of you, you have been going to all these bars in Bende, you have been you know exploring all these bars what? in the two of you. Basically, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know what your friend is trying to say. Larry, 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 Larry. Oh, what the hell? Wait, so are you asking? Oh, you don't guess. You see, let me, let me. You, see, you don't know Larry. You see, Larry is a, is a fool. In capital letter. If I, you can say that is a, is, is a rubbish man. No, 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 no. Why, why would you say that I am talking rubbish? Why would you call me a fool? Why? why? Because you are a fool. No, you he are might. the person that told me that in four days' time we are going to go to Bender to go and explore Bender. And suddenly and luckily for us, we are seeing people who are presenting themselves as experts in exploration. And I'm just trying to find out whether two of them can become explorers. That will take us around when we go to bed, Dad. Let us explore. Then you would have asked me. And I would have told you what you needed to know. You see, you cannot compare this place. Check this place out. You cannot compare it with Bende. You know, we are far ahead in terms of outing and luxury. Girl, am I not right? So, <laughs> Two of you, two of you. Do you... Do you get angry easily? Oh, Larry yeah. again! You have come again. You want to to cure the first sickness that you caused? You have brought another sickness. You brought gonorrhea. Now you are bringing AIDS. Which one are we curing? Larry, was those three rubbish things? Are you used to be? Can we take guess? Uh, so, uh, no offense. Can I take my friend out to her side? Whatever. Something is something is cooking. Okay. Um. Hey, girls, it, even it is beginning to be boiling. Girls. Um. Just. 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 Hmm? Let me just see the hell the rubbish is about to tell me. I, I, I promise you, I'm not going to spend more than a split second, okay? So right. just, just, just one more time. Enjoy yourself, whatever you want. Oh What's my new? gosh, I don't like that guy. Me too, Maureen. Seriously, I don't like oh, it. That guy has a problem. A psycho problem. Yeah, and I'm not always comfortable with such guys. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Look, guy. Larry, listen. I don't, I don't understand this is your time out. I mean, what is it that you want to discuss with me that cannot wait? This one cannot wait. It cannot wait. I call you out because it is very urgent. I don't like making any mistake I know I can avoid. Open your mouth and tell me what is the exact plan you have for that girl sitting Oh, here. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Me, Larry, you are full of shit. All your life is all shit up. Yes. No, no, no. How many times have I told you, time with that number, that I, I just don't like this girl. I love this girl. And the kind of friendship, the way we are going about it, it may actually lead to marriage. Yeah, that is what I don't want to hear. Listen to me, boy. Cancel whatever marriage plan you have for that girl sitting inside that place. Because she is not a wife material. Hey, Larry, why are you like this? How could you say a thing like this? You haven't known these girls. I mean, you just met these girls a couple of hours ago and right now you are judging them. How could you open your sticky mouth to say that this girl is not a marriage material? Did you hear what you say? They say that they are experts 
in outing and logs. Oh, don't give me that shit. Listen to me, boy. Listen, boy. Those girls inside that place, they know every single hotel room in the village. I can tell you that. All the men of their village in Bende, they lined up like this. And they reduced those girls to zero. Zero like this. Those girls are zero. Forget everything. Forget that marriage plan with that girl. If you marry that girl, boy, you are going to be so surprised with what you are going to see inside that package when you open it. Shut up, Larry, shut up. Shut up, shut up. 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 Now listen. You just, why are you just getting these girls for nothing? Why? Listen to me. Listen to me. I've only, I've just told you what I want to tell you as a friend. I don't need your smelling advice. See those girls. I just they are cross. You want to crucify yourself in that cross? You go ahead and crucify yourself Let me name in the cross. It's none of your business. Yes, I want to tell you concerning that rubbish. You came to my house to tell me the other time about your father and yourself hijacking over and be being the king. It's not going to work. It cannot even work. I have discussed with the youths. I'm not talking about all these my my youths you are parading all over. I'm telling you the original youths we have in this land. They said your father cannot be king. And who do you think you are to ever change what the youths have decided? Now shut up. Ranse! Ranse! Eat shit! Now listen, Larry. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, now. It's all my fault. This drink you are drinking, my money. But I can, a of fact, I can shit that you are wearing. I bought for you when I came back from him. Shut up! Now listen, when I talk, you don't talk. I don't blame you. I have the strong conviction, but I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that all of a sudden you are beginning to grow cold. It is understandable. No, the plan is. Cold. I understand it. Now listen. I am advising you right now to step out. Step out concerning my plans. I will go ahead and seal it up, and I promise you something. You regret it. Paga, idiot. Now I'm going to buy you. I'm a boo. I'm a boo here. It's not for these girls. Get away, my. It's not for these girls. Get away. But don't worry. You crucify yourself in the cross. Yeah. Easy. In fact, I'm coming to you. Finish your up, man. It was the final. I don't understand you at all. I mean, you're shouting, and I'm not getting you. Did you shut up. I'm not shouting. I'm saying I'm shouting. I have the right to shout. Now listen, I want you to send this message to your sister. At the same time, deliver it to your father. That idiot, that boy in your custody is useless. I know. Shut up. You know what? You know to rubbish. You know rubbish. What audacity? You have the F1 tree to talk when I'm talking. I don't blame you. Now listen, that boy must remain in your custody. If by any chance that boy is released to Nana and by chance has undue advantage over my father, I swear to God Almighty, I will kill your father slowly. I will send your father to his early grave. Wait, wait, Benson. Are you going to attack my father because of that useless? I mean, that thing that I never liked? What's my business with your, your hatred and your likeness? You want one man here. So, you think I'm, I'm concerned about you? I am concerned about the throne. Now, this girl, take this message to your father so he can do what he has to do for my father to be on that throne. Else, slowly by slowly by slowly, I will kill your father. <coughs> um, Nana, my nephew, the new chair of Obulu Kingdom summoned you and I here to communicate their latest decision. It is not your duty to address him, Odechi. Oh no, who is here? And this is his house. Does it matter who addresses him? Shouldn't you be minding the way you talk to me, bearing in mind the latest development in the kinship status? What do you mean, Obuefi? Are you going to start by carrying or intimidating us? Oh yes, I will start in my, my friend. In short, I will start, um, in fact, I'll start ordering by ordering you to shut up and sit down. Sit down! Me? Uh, 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 that is okay. 
both of you sit down. I said sit down. I am the second in command in this kingdom. As you know who of Ubulu Kingdom. And for that reason, I stand on the authority of the Igwe. And any of you, when I say sit down, you sit down. Well, as for now, I, I will take your order. Uh, I will take your order. Uh, my son. For now, oh no, whoa, for now. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Shall we run away because of you? Huh? I will do that best first of all. I have to announce your expulsion from the royal uh, cabinet. Anyway. I gladly accept that. But Obuefi, could you allow us to continue our discussion around or peacefully? Huh? Oh no. Speak. Uh, my son. Uh, you see, the kingship of Obulu Kingdom is not changing hands from your father's household to that of your uncles. Because you don't have a son of your own for now. And you know, as our tradition demands, within 16 days, your father is burial. Supposed to take place within 16 days. And for that reason, we have to change the kingship from his household. Is it not so? Good evening. Young lady, who are you? My name is Mwadi. Daughter of Udemba of Ukraine King George, former servant of the palace. Hey! Who allowed the grasshopper in the meeting of animals? Udechi, Chelo. Wait, let us hear what the girl has to say. Ndiche, please, let me say something, as what I have to say is very important to the decision you all are about to make right now. Ha! What you all okay? Shut up your mouth! Um, let us speak. No. No! In my capacity as the next king of Obulu kingdom, in principle and character, young lady, I order you to speak no more. You will do no such thing as you haven't got such powers. Me? Prince Nana here is the Ezeanoche of this community, and he alone can act as the Igwe of this community in principle and in character. My daughter. It would have been right if the prince had a son to ascend the hills. Oh, yes, he has a son. I have a son. This is Prince Nana's son. Uh, my son, are you aware of this child? I was about to tell all of you, but my uncle will not let me speak. Liar! You're a liar! How dare you? How dare you, uncle, speak to the king Apron of Obulu Kingdom? You are a cheat. You see? Uncle, when is your quo? Without due respect, sit down. Hmm? Sit down. Okay. Sit down! Struggle, the hustle. I lost everything. Chai. Hmm. Tears on her eyes. I want you to be looking dejected. 
Dejection is not for you because you're a pretty, wonderful girl. Also, the eccentricities of uh, Nana, the prince, never you mind. I am quite honest somebody. it. But, in fairness to him, he has to do what he did. So, Daddy, are you trying to say that you're in support of him calling off the wedding? Not at all. Oh, no. Over. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. You're quite a pretty girl. Nobody can throw you about. All I'm saying is that he has the right not to concede his throne to his uncle. That's all it's all, all about. Well, I didn't also expect him to call off our wedding. You know, my, my dear, you know, there are so many sides to a coin. Your side and Obi uh, Nana's side. All I'm saying is that there are great things stored up for you in the future. All you have to do is to exercise some patience. And besides, you have not known that I'm organizing a very big swell party for you. Party where you invite all and sundry, the big men, the VIPs, everybody in the town, all for a party. And there and there you can express yourself, you can laugh and laugh as you like. But that's what I want to tell you. That after a week of that party, many hands will be rushing to take your own hand in marriage. So take it easy. You're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl that is 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 is, is very essential in every home. Don't be don't be crying. Thank you very much, Daddy. Yeah. I never knew you were so sweet and kind with your words. Oh, I could remember those days when we were at school. When we used to join the literary and debating society and uh, we always make big words sound little and little ones sound big. Anyway, never mind, that's not the issue. The issue at take now is that I want you to be absolutely happy. Radiate that happiness, that radiate that beauty. It's very essential. I love you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Shifoko. Oh no. Come inside. Uh, my priest. Come inside. Sit down. By the powers conferred on me as the Onowu of Ubulu Kingdom, I hereby crown you as the Igwe of Ubulu Kingdom. Igwe! Uh, Igwe, you can step out now. What's this man? Don't you come in here? Da! Josh, what are you doing here? I am supposed to be there. Don't do what? I am still a member of the royal family. I am supposed you to be there. You are not supposed to be here. You see, will do you two charlatans remove you, this your hand? It's okay. Da! It's okay. Allow him in.
Have you chosen any tattoo name for yourself? Yes, I have. What is it? Ojilinaka. Okay, boy. Ojilinaka, the second of Obolo Kingdom. Yes. yes. Ojilinaka, the second of Obolo Kingdom. Iwe. Iwe. Everybody shout Iwe. Iwe. Make the truth known. 